Say. Okay, so here we are in Logic. Preloaded, I've just grabbed the Empire beat. It is just a standard drum loop from Logic's library. Just so there's something in the background. I've also moved it to 88 BPM, which we can see just up here. Uh, and the reason for that, I want to grab a sample that was completely different BPM wise uh, and show you how we can quite easily kind of just like fit it into that gap. Um, so uh, I was going to grab one of these. We'll take this one here, right? What we can do is just grab this sample, drag it all the way over here. Uh, and first off, let's just use the quick sampler and we'll drop it in optimized. And it's going to load up that sample and kind of pre-chop it for us. Generally does an okay job in transient mode. Now, first thing we need to do, remember this was at, what well, it says it's at 120. We've got this at 88. So these samples are going to be all over the show in terms of the timing and, and rhythm. Now we can probably butcher it, but there's some other things we can do. So let's just check out how off kind of it would be, right? So if we load up piano roll now, and we just open up that up. I'm gonna drag this up so we can see. So it's giving us all these chops here from C1, right? So let's just do something like that. Timing wise, you know, that's just off. It's really like half note. It's just a bit awkward, right? So the first thing that we can do, right? Just over here, switch this guy on, bonk, leave follow tempo on. And it's gonna help snap some of those notes to tempo. Now that it's probably captured and figured out the tempo bang on and it's got it with our project, we can do something else. Instead of having it in transient mode where we could go and delete some of these notes, for example, like we can see that one's probably going to be off as well. That looks pretty good. We're in a pretty good position there right off the bat, aren't we? Now we can slow it down as well. Because we've now synced to tempo, we can have it. We could just do something really simple like three long notes and then a stutter each time. Why not? So right off the bat there, we've got something going already. And those notes are ended slightly early, but we're good. Okay, now another thing with timing, if we find that maybe the notes are slightly overlapping, like when we've got the little double chop there, if we did two separate notes like this, they'd overlap, watch. that instantly got a clash, right? So over here in polyphony, we can just drop that to mono and they'll always cut each other off. So if we wanted to do a quick flurry of note, I don't know, say here, maybe we want to do this. They'd all overlap. We can just very quickly fly through them and they'll cut each other off. Now that's worked out pretty well doing it in transient mode. However, if you've maybe got more of a flatter sound and it's not able to catch those transients as well, over here in mode, instead of going on transient, try out beat divisions. Once you've already done the uh, syncing it up to tempo. Now look, it's done it in a ridiculously intense beat division. It's given me tiny, tiny chops. That's useless. Just here on the division, we can bring it right down and we could slide it down so it's something like that. Now, if you get any clicks and pops, this time it's been really, really good, but up here, where it says snap, turn snap onto zero crossing, and if you've got a sample that's particularly popping, I don't know, say, that pops whenever it starts. You're just gonna grab that and it's gonna move it on this, snap it to a zero crossing for you where it ideally won't pop anymore.
Okay, some other things that we can look at. If we want to have a little bit more control over this, on the amp section here where we switched it to mono before, we can actually change our settings here because it's currently ADS. We can do a HDS and just have a little bit more control, but we can also do things like this. <gasps> There's basically no sound. So we can now super control how those chops sound, right? We can have it so they sweep in a bit as well. Maybe give it a bit of space with the drums. Whatever kind of control you want to give it. Now the other thing, we're also velocity sensitive, right? So let's just move this over here to this next bar. And let's just very simply bash ourselves in a, a bunch of notes so we can listen to what we can do with velocity and how we can have some fun with that. So because we're velocity sensitive, if we switch on this little guy just a bit, show height automation, seems odd, I get it, but there it is, note velocity right off the bat. Uh, we can just drag these and mess these around or we can actually just Very simply, we, we've now got the ability to make like a super simple build up, right? I know, let's do that, like that, and then we'll make these ones even smaller, like quadruple that one up, and then the last one, we're gonna go absolutely bonkers and do that, and I know, let's just ramp the whole thing up like that. You know, we've kind of just made ourselves our own little build up there using velocity. So really, once you've set all this up and you know how to access those features, look how quickly you can chop up a sample and get it working. Um, I literally liked the sound of that piano sample, threw it in just as, you know, cause I could essentially. Now, once we've set it up, you can kind of go absolutely mad as well if you want and throw other samples in. I'm gonna grab this other piano sample, just drop it in and let's see what happens. All right, so this one's a little bit different. Um, we need to figure out how we're going to do this. So look, if we put it on slice, it's currently, oh, it's giving me nothing. So let's go on beat divisions again. That looks like it might work, let's see. There you go, just proof of the concept that once you're working in this kind of format, you've got everything set up as you want, you can kind of like drag and drop samples in and just uh, flip things around. Is that not ridiculous. I hope that's helpful for you guys and uh, I look forward to seeing you on the next one. Take it easy.